Hello, in this lecture we want to cover uh, sections 11.4 and 11.5 about comparison test. We notice from the comparison test parts 1 and 2 that the terms of the series being tested must be smaller than those of a conversion series, okay? How they should be larger than those of a divergent series. If we consider that this series in which we are going to compare with a P-series 1 over n squared where p is equal to 2, and actually uh, this is a convergent series. But on the other hand, we will notice that the terms of the series n over n cubed minus 1 compared with the series 1 over n squared, they are actually n, n cubed, okay? This is our series. Now it's easy to compare. We see here that the denominator is less than the denominator n cubed. Yeah, but definitely this term is bigger. Yeah, but now I'm comparing uh, my series with a conversion series and the terms is, are larger it's useless to it it's useless here to apply the comparison test I cannot apply it and the test is the test fails. also in the case in which I have a divergent series and it, and it turns out that this my series has smaller terms than those of a diversion then also the comparison test won't apply but yani, let's look at this limit comparison test with our ex the example that we've been talking about which was n over n cubed minus 1 okay nonetheless I when I compared it with the series 1 over n squared and I know that this is a conversion series I have the feeling that it must be also convergent yani, it must also to be a Convergence uh, as this 1 over n squared is convergent. In such case, actually, I will want to use this limit comparison test. I'm still going to use this comparison series, sigma bn, that I got, and I get the ratio an over bn and take the limit as n tends to infinity and find the value of this limit. If this limit is a finite number and this number is greater than zero, then either both series converge or both series diverge. So if we apply this rule to this uh, problem and I use the limit comparison test in which a n is the given series n over n cubed minus 1 and b n is the comparison series which is 1 over n squared and I obtain the ratio a n over b n I find that this ratio n over n cubed minus 1 over a 1 over n squared when I want to simplify this actually will give me a, uh, let's do it in another slide. Now let's find the ratio here, a n over b n. A n is n over n cubed minus 1, when a b n is 1 over n squared. Let's simplify, so we have n cubed over, uh, I'll take the n squared up like this, any numerator. And then we'll have n of the denominator n cubed minus a n cubed minus 1. Now let's take the limit for this ratio as n tends to infinity of n cubed and n cubed minus 1 dividing by highest power. I'll find 1 over 1 minus 1 and n cubed. Now take the limits as n tends to infinity. 1 over infinity is a 0. You will end up with a 1. Yeah, but this constant c term uh, actually turned out to be equal to camp to 1. Yeah, but what does the rule tells me? If c, since c is greater than 0, then both a converge. And I know that sigma 1 over n squared is a convergent series because it's a p series. p is equal to 2. Okay. Yeah, but then a, both a converges. Yeah, from where did I get it? From the limit comparison a limit comparison test okay now we need to estimate the sum if we have used the comparison test to show that a series is uh, convergent yani I'm starting with a series sigma n and I want to show that this series is a convergent a conversion series I know that the partial sums of this series like Sn is equal to A1, A2, and so on up to An. Okay, now I have a comparison series sigma Bn compared with this series, and this sigma Bn uh, is also a conversion, converge, uh, conversion in which the sum, I'll call the sum here a. Uh, 
in Sn prime, مثلا, where Sn is the sum b1, b2 up to a, up to b n. Okay, then we may estimate the sum sigma a n by comparing remainders. But I'm gonna compare the remainders of a n to the remainders of a of the b n. Now I know that R n is S minus S n definitely will be the terms A n plus 1, A n plus 2, and so on, right? And also the remainder term for the comparison series will be the terms B n plus 1 plus B n plus 2, and so on. And since I use the comparison test and I know definitely that A n is less than or equal B n, then I'm sure that this R n will definitely be less than A than T n, the remainder T n, okay? Let's summarize. I'll say a note here about this estimate of the sum. We have our series sigma a n and the comparison series sigma b n in which a n is less than or equal b n. Okay. And now we know from the previous analysis that the remainder terms r n is less than the remainder terms t n. Usually, in general, we have two cases. The b n terms or the sigma b n usually is either uh, p series in which uh, the uh, remainder terms t n can be easily obtained from our inequalities because it was less than n from n to infinity for the function g of x where g of x is the function that defines the a at terms b n okay it, it is it is a function of a of in terms of pati b n okay now also the second case we could arrive that a bn was a geometric series and definitely here it's simpler because I know that the sum of this geometric series is equal to a over 1 minus a 1 minus r e but it is known and the sum is known actually exactly e but whether I find it fully through this bound that the p for my p series or from the geometric series I definitely will have my bound for a for my r n less than or equal this t n. Okay, got it. In this example, we need to estimate the error involved when summing a, a series and estimating the sum using the first hundred a hundred terms. Okay. Come on, definitely, if I want actually to find the sum, I do it with a computer generated to sum up 100 eight terms. Now here we care about the error involved, yani, or we care about the error. As a start, we must make sure that the series we're dealing with is a convergent a series. Yes, it is because you know, we compare. We know that we can compare this with the series one over n cube, and this is a p series that is a convergent a series and our terms is less than this conversion series even if I, we are sure now that the series we're talking about is a conversion by the comparison test okay so the second thing uh, to do the job we uh, we must first get the remainder term for the uh, comparison uh, series yeah, I, mean, I need to find tn now this is a p series i can find the compare uh, the, the terms the bounds yeah, the, the remainder terms from the integral test from n integrating from n back to infinity of the function 1 over x cubed dx okay which will turn out to be 1 over 2 to 2 n squared now i have a bound for the remainder term for the uh, comparison series from our previous analysis we know that rn is less than a these terms tn but definitely my rn is less than 1 over 2 n squared also okay if i want values that now i know i summed up to 100 if r 100 is less than or equal 1 over a 2 to 100 squared yani 1 over a 20,000 0.0002